What's going on guys? I hope everyone's having a great day. It's a beautiful day in Tennessee. I hope it's a great day where you are. Thanks for checking out the channel. I'm Paul. I'll be your host for this evening. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about vintage watches. I was changing the strap on this vintage piece and perusing Hodinkee's webpage and I came across an article that had just come out about the brand new Volcane Cricket. Now, the Volcane Cricket has a storied history in the U.S. with the uh, U.S. presidents. It has a storied history in the watch collecting world. Uh, it's a watch I have never owned. I've looked at vintage pieces over the years, and it has popped in and out of production from Volcane for years and years. And it's back again this time with a number of different models. So I thought we'd look at the history we'd look at the new models and then we'd compare them to a couple of vintage pieces available right now and you tell me what's the better option let's get to it <laughs> All right, guys, let's start off right away with a little history of Volcane. Starting in 1858, this Volcane company was founded. They were the inventor of the alarm complication for wristwatches. And ever since Harry S. Truman, they have been known as the Watch for Presidents. As you see here, they were originally under a different name that I am not going to try to pronounce. But in 1898, they become Fabrique Volcane, the company that is known today. They still are a company. They still have a website under Volcane. In 1947, they produced their first cricket alarm. In 1951, and as late as 2009, they are still giving watches to presidents, i.e., the Watch of Presidents. This, the Volcane Cricket from eBay in very nice condition considering 1947 through 1950 something is the regular timeline for these watches. 12, 20, 46 pennies. Not a bad price. And the reason I mention a price is because Volcane Cricket is now back in the Volcane lineup. They have re-released the Cricket Alarm into their lineup once again. The last time, I believe, was 2010. Now it's back for 2020. And I want to thank Danny Milton for writing this article in a Houdinki because if it weren't for this article, I would not have known about it because, let's be honest, I can't remember the last time I got on Volcane's website. The article kind of is a rehash of what I just said. They invented the alarm. The cricket alarm is called just that because it sounds like crickets. They uh, were known in their heyday as the Watch of Presidents. This one, my favorite, this brown dial with aged numerals and aged loom on the hands absolutely cool sword hands with this blackened finish you have this center seconds hand in black and then also your alarm hand in black that's not a pointer date that is your alarm hand which uh is is a really really cool feature you have your uh, alarm setting on the outer track and you just align the hand with that setting use the top pusher to pull out to set the alarm push in to turn the alarm off so very very cool and of course you have your um, crown on the uh, right side at three doing most of your crown functions that a normal watch would do. They do have a 50-piece limited edition salmon dial with a sold the world over since 1858 on the case back. And we're going to take a look at that here in just a second. It is really cool. 
Uh, all the case backs are really interesting because not only do you see the, the engraving I just mentioned, you also see these four slits that allow the cricket alarm to escape out of the case and into the world so you can actually hear the alarm. This, the 50-piece Salmon Dial Volcane Cricket Limited Edition, absolutely cool. It is not my favorite, thank God, because at 50 pieces, it might as well be made out of unatanium, but it is quite cool. Uh, it is available in a 36 millimeter vintage size or a 39 millimeter more modern interpretation size. So that's a theme within the line and they have produced a lot of new designs for this Volcane Cricket, all of which are on leather straps, starting with this Cricket Classic 36 millimeter salmon dial that we just mentioned for $4,041. Black leather, beautiful dial, aged numerals, aged loom on the hand, or I should say faux loom, faux aged loom on the hands. Really, really cool in a 36 millimeter, and they do do the 39, which we will mention in a bit. Uh, next up is the 36 millimeter black, white, and blue. This is my favorite at $4,041. Again, really, really cool how they've done the blue alarm track on the outer edge with the non-aged loom on the hands and numerals and the polished hands. I really, really like that. Then we get to the classic 36 millimeter brown. You guys have already seen this one. Same price as the other two. Brown dial, aged loom on the blackened hands, non-aged loom on the numerals. Really, really cool. And all these so far are the 36 millimeters. So uh, up next is the last of the 36 millimeters, the black and khaki numbers. Same price, $4,041. This time, all black and white and aged brown. That blue number track of the previous black dial is now black and white. You have the aged numerals, you have the aged hands, and then, of course, the, the polishing surround. Uh, now we get into the 39 millimeter. This is going to be the salmon dial. goes up to $4,300, actually almost $44, $4,352. And uh, it's the identical watch as we just looked at a moment ago, same limited 50 pieces. So technically we have 100 pieces, but now more size and more money. We get back to the black, white, and blue for $4,352. This time, 39 millimeters. So once again, the identical watch just in a larger size with a larger price point. Not limited at all, this one, and still my favorite combination of colors. Uh, next up is the 39 millimeter brown, still $4,352, still brown uh, dial, brown strap, and you have the aged loom and aged hand loom as well. Uh, very cool piece, very much my second favorite behind the black, white, and blue. Uh, and then last up, we have the 39 millimeter black with khaki numbers. Again, $4,352. This time, uh, the black leather, all black dial with your white and aged accents. Very cool pieces all. 
uh, eight pieces total. Um, six of those are going to be readily available. Two are going to be basically unattainable. Uh, that brings up the vintage pieces like this one. Another one off of eBay that I pulled up with the working alarm. This one, a 35 millimeter plus crown, so 36 millimeter caliber 120, the original caliber, $1,220. So that begs the question, do you spend $4,000 on a new Vulcane Cricket and have no issues and a full warranty and a perfect dial and a perfect case? Or do you spend way less, get the history of the vintage piece and just deal with watchmaker issues that may arise. You tell me, guys, vintage or modern. Go check out my uh, link tree below for all links, including Twitter, uh, my YouTube, my Patreon, my Instagram, my Facebook group, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. I love you all. Peace.